it's opening day of archery season for coos deer all right it's time to get up get the day started definitely took me longer to get ready this morning than what i thought um not really too much due to my leg mostly just because uh, i'm sore i'm old uh older at least and uh i just don't move as expedition expeditiously as i used to so anyways uh i'm just finishing up the last couple of things i'm gonna get me some some morning nutrition i love my zions uh spray myself down i've already washed my hands and all that kind of stuff an additional time since eating breakfast um so that's all good and then uh I got a little bit of camo paint, probably put a little bit out of my face. But the main premise for today, it's the first day. I haven't scouted here yet this year. So I just want to go out, uh, find a bunch of sign, find a couple of good bucks and stuff. But uh, the key is today, I'm not necessarily planning on actually shooting anything. I'm just trying to learn their environment, learn what, what they're doing since I haven't had time to stock them. Uh, it's been raining a lot here. This week, it's supposed to be sunny all week, but it's been raining for like almost, I mean, two weeks straight, it seems like. So there's lots of standing water. So typically, you know, in the Western states and stuff, you go out and you just sit on water. I don't know if that's going to be quite successful this time, um, just because of how much standing water there is everywhere. So instead, I'm trying to find different places for the, like where they're going to graze and where they're going to bed down. Um, that's what I'm looking for today. And then a spot where I can catch them in, in, in between. So... Um, anyways, here we go. Let's check this out. I thought I heard something while sleeping last night. Sure enough, watch this. <clears throat> There's my truck. Look at my tire track and the prints go over top of the tire track. This was from last night, guys. Look, a herd of javelina. Look at that sign right there, those prints. A herd of javelina, or at least one, looks like, must have come by my truck last night and walked right in front of it. And I thought I heard something <laughs> in the middle of the night while I was sleeping. Huh. Crazy. I ended up scouting some of my old hunting spots. I settled in on this ridge here. I ended up glassing up three does. I watched them for several hours. Uh, no bucks ever came in, but I did learn uh, some of their habits as far as like when they, they bed down and when they got back up to go graze again. So that was really, really helpful later on. Um, however, the terrain was way too steep for me in this particular location and I wasn't able to really traverse it. So, especially now, now that I have my amputation. So I ended up uh, just calling it a day and went back to the truck. Tomorrow, I've got a whole new spot that I want to check out. I was planning on scouting and just kind of watching from a distance, but not very far from uh, where I planned to sit and watch. I found this tank and there's tons of tracks that from a class like two days. So um, I'm going to sit here probably for the majority of the day just to see. Right now, this time of year, they don't really bed down until about 1 to 1.30 in the afternoon, so I'll give it till about that time. The only thing my concern is that I'm literally 10 yards max from where I would shoot them, so I'm not sure. If I've never gotten that close to a deer, so we'll see. If I do, then it's going to be really exciting. Within a few minutes, there was a couple of deer that came in. Uh, the problem was they came in behind me. I had a real bad spot where I set up. It was uh, not very well done. <clears throat> so I moved and around nine o'clock, I finally got my makeshift blind kind of set up. Uh, but one of the local ranchers came down uh, and I spoke with him and we chatted for about thir you know, three hours or whatever, but he a uh, really nice guy, you know, amazing dude. Anyways, he gave me a, a couple of tips and advice and stuff like that. So. Later on that afternoon, went back to that tank, saw three deer, a herd of javelina, which is really cool. That's coming up here in a couple weeks. Um, and nothing really that, uh, there, there, there was no buck or anything.
All right, guys. So it's day two. Yes, gonna go down there again this morning. Get out there a little bit earlier this time, and hopefully we'll see a buck. We'll give this uh, maybe one, two more days. If that doesn't work, then we'll go try something else. I still got, you know, till it's only Sunday. I got till next, you know, till this coming Friday. So let's do it. All right, guys. I am sorry that this whole thing is on iPhone, um, but <clears throat> my camera. Call for some reason the the cards I I bought from memory like only hold 15 seconds even though they're 32 gig i think it's because i didn't get hd or something like that but uh anyways <clears throat> so i have got in this morning i put on some cami paint kind of break up the outline of my face uh especially on my ears and stuff so it's not as recognizable as a human face not like i would you know or anybody should for the military this is just simply to break up the pattern of my face so uh on top of that I got a makeshift blind. I used this uh, meshing stuff that I kind of took from my wife. So thank you for that, babe. And uh, anyways, and I just kind of threw some some stuff on it, like an extra cami blouse, um, you know, it's, it's, some other random things I found. And is what it does is it just, along with the brush on the other side, it just kind of breaks up the pattern. So yesterday I stood here with my complete you know, top half exposed, and the deer would come in uh, to that tank, which is 30 yards away. They would stare, you know, right at me and not even think twice. They would just kind of keep moving or whatever. It wasn't until I moved and they heard movement that they would try to examine and figure out where it was coming from. But even if I stood still, you know, they could look right at me with my upper half exposed and they wouldn't, you know, think anything of it. They're looking for, for movement um, and trying to smell me. So, um, yesterday I had the wind in my face from this position, which was good. Originally I was in a different position, which didn't really work out too well, uh, cause I was just too close to the tank and they were coming up from behind me and smelling me right before they got there. So unfortunately today the wind shifted again and now it's kind of blowing into the tank this way. Um, however, the, the deer are coming from like over here and, and, and past the tank. So I'm hoping that if like with the wind kind of going across it like this, that they won't actually smell me until they get up to the tank. And at that point, hopefully I'll already be drawn and um, all that will do is make them turn broadside to me or something and look at me, hopefully, and I can get a clean shot. So uh, that being said, let's do it. Does were coming in and out all day. And of course, right as the big buck came in, I happened to move my GoPro because I was running out of battery. And I brought it back closer to me and put it on my uh, my bow, which was a terrible decision. I'm so pumped. I'm shaking. I held that thing. Man, I held that bow up for a good over a minute. I was shaking like a leaf. And because of that, I kept having started out at 50. I could have taken the shot from there and felt comfortable. But I just waited and waited. And the more I started shaking, the closer I wanted him to be. Finally, I let go. He was about 20 yards. And, uh, man, I couldn't even see the arrow. It was just, I was just so excited. But I heard it slam into him. He ran off, spilled over. I'm gonna give it about 30 minutes and go find this thing. Man, I celebrated way too early. I just went and found the arrow. No blood, just a little bit of hair on the fledging. Let's see here, it's right there and that's it. Oh man, I was shaking so bad just from excitement and being excited the boat for so long. That was such a boot move. Unfortunately, that's how the day ended for me. I had to go back, regroup, collect myself, and evaluate exactly what went on. Turns out I just went to the wrong pin, went to the 50-yard uh, pin, vice the 30-yard. Uh, so, junior rookie move, and uh, unfortunately that day I didn't get my deer. But uh, I had several more days of hunting, so make sure you hit like and subscribe so you can see the next videos.